It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. We're hanging out on the Strip in Las Vegas here at the South Point Hotel and Casino. And the running Rebels are off to Chapel Hill Saturday afternoon. North Carolina, four-point favorite against UNLV. Totals up there, 155. Let's just start with UNLV, Ricky. The expectations here in the Valley. People very excited about this team. Uh, a disappointing loss to Oregon. Since then, this team's played great. And Anthony Bennett has been just a monster. He's a one-and-done kid. I mean, if he, if he wants the NBA, they want him. Well, people talking about Bennett as player of the year around the country already. He's averaging 20 and 9. And if you haven't seen him play, you got to see, see the kid play. He is a one-and-done kid, no doubt. UNLV has had their struggles in recent years on the road. This year, they're 3-0 and on the road. They did win at Cal. They did win at UTEP in close games. Um, they also got Kim Birch back that uh, was, uh, became eligible on December 17th. The McDon former McDonald's All-American, the transfer from Pitt, that, all, that, that had 20 points, eight rebounds, and six assists in his third game the other day against Canisius. So big game for the Rebels on the road. You know, winning at Cal is one thing. Winning at UTEP is one thing. Winning at North Carolina is something else. UNLV's best returning player, Mike Moser, a dislocated elbow, he remains on the shelf. But Bennett is a horse, and this is a very deep team. Uh, by North Carolina standards, 9-3 and three doesn't sound horrific, but I know they're a little and, antsy in Chapel Hill. The good news is they're unbeaten at home. They're unbeaten at home, and it's, but it's not the 9-3 and three so much. as I mean, the losses were to Butler at Indiana and at Texas, so quality basketball teams, but they got blown out in those three games, 21-24 and 18 they lost by. And with this is, make no mistake, this is a revenge game for North Carolina. UNLV beat them in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena last year. Difference is, most of those kids aren't back for North Carolina. When you talk about a revenge game, I was at that game. That place was jumping in the last 10 minutes of that game. It took an hour and a half to play as the celebration was on. You're right, North Carolina won't forget that. Tar Heels, four-point favorites, total 155, hosting UNLV on Saturday. 